Hi, it's Hazel, and welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. Welcome here, welcome back, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Know with total sincerity that you are welcome here and that you your presence is appreciated. Your subscriptions are appreciated, your likes and your comments are appreciated. Okay, now this is, uh, you know, the same day for me, but a different day for you. And I'm obviously continuing with the organizing of jewelry uh, bits and pieces. And, and I know in the title, I think I put and beads, but of course the beads are secondary because that's a whole other thing. But you can't really talk jewelry without talking beads. So, I, because I've been challenged by Carol uh, of Crinkled Path, I am going to try to add the, whatever that thing is called, at the end of a video that links you back to a previous video. So, this is part two. Uh, you know, God willing and the creek don't rise. I will be able to link you to part one. And if not... It'll be in the description box and um, who knows, maybe it'll be, it'll be under the organizing playlist. So I'm not going to repeat everything I said last time because that would be foolishness, but I will show you kind of what I have done since we last were together. <clears throat> and um, I did empty more containers and consolidate more containers. So I'll just show you, whoa, um, so I still have this box that has a whole bunch of things that need to be uh, taken apart, but that's more like a bead thing. Now these, back in the day, were, do you remember when this stuff came out and everyone in, and his brother was selling these at, um, you know, craft fairs and so on? And for me, how do you how do you pick your favorites? Uh, it was the perfect whoops, the perfect thing because it was adjustable with this bead, and it was hypo hypoallergenic. So now I'm not sure if these are mine or my mom's, but um, obviously this trim should be salvaged because I don't think I'm wearing any of that stuff anymore. So there's that. <clears throat> I also uh, emptied this box and then <laughs> began, began to put loose beads in there for another sorting day. Oh, and I, sh I didn't say anything about this in the last one. I don't know, <coughs> excuse me, if you'd be able to guess what this is. So I will tell you, and I'm going to work on this one some more because of the purple journal, obviously. This and this, these were both garlands for Christmas trees from several years ago. And I thought, hey, way more beads than you could possibly, and this isn't all of them, way more beads than you could possibly get for that price. And all I had to do was take them off the... Stra and in fact, you know what? I should have looked for the actual necklace that's in my jewelry box. Because these guys are glued on to this uh, fishing line, um, but you know they're not, they're not that easy to remove. But I think what I ended up doing was just leaving them as is and make them like a multi-strand necklace. But anyway, I if I think of it, I'll pull out that. Um, that necklace and show you how that ended up. Okay, so we'll get to this in a moment. Oh, I began as I emptied containers. I found some things and I don't know what this was. It may not have been a piece of jewelry, but it's flat, as is this, as is something like this. These are little bits and pieces when I was embossing a piece of leather. So I, this, uh, I'm sure this is for, 
you know, additional pieces to extend uh, the length of a watch bracelet. So I've just started this can here with these flat elements thinking, well, they're flat. They can be glued onto a page or whatever. So there's that going on in the background. This uh, dish, I found some items that already had uh, bulb pins on them. This has a little, you know, ring. This, now I don't know if this is how I intended to use it. But, because you know, it's one of those where the th the beads sort of, it's like, it's like a garden hose where one goes to the hot tap, one goes to the other tap. So, you know, either they could be more securely joined to each other with those two little rings there, or they could stay on a bulb pin, but whatever. I'm counting these pieces as done. And hopefully we will have many more before this day is over, or before this video is over. I found a bunch of things that should be in the blush journal. And I found these guys that were so darn cute. And then, whoops, that's not one. And then I realized, well, they're not beads, they're buttons. So I'm going to, you know what? These might be just gorgeous. But do I want to part with them or do I want to hoard them? Oh, my God. Um, and I think there are more because, first of all, I was missorting them. I think I could probably spare a few to sew on to my snippet roll. I have five right there. Anyway, so that's just some blush stuff that's hovering here in the background. I brought my little drawer of bulb pins. Um, if you saw the Dangles video, you know that they are in a variety of finishes. I was just sort of uh, removing some of the copper ones and putting them with copper stuff. Oh, and let me tell you this and I'll get it out of the way. This, I showed this in a haul video. It's a, it's an ammo case and I don't... I don't have a gun. I don't approve of guns, blah, 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 blah. But I liked it. It was quite affordable in this small size. I like it because it has a small footprint. It's narrow. Whoa, I'm sorry. So I bash you again. It keeps some of my larger tools in there. And of course, because we're working with tools today, I pulled out the ones I thought I'd need. The rest, um, I tuck this in the knee whoa the knee hole of my desk it's nearby it doesn't take up a lot of space and um you know we all live happily ever after so okay let's make some room here i'll put the bulb pins off to the side but you know they're still here uh off to the side of my little paper here i found that stone. Now, obviously, I'm going to save it because clearly, maybe I'll put it with the, uh, uh, what should I call it? The uh, blush stuff. That's garbage. Bead. You know, the, the sorting just goes on and on and on. Uh, a ring. Oh, and here's another even, even tinier little stone so I'm going to keep that because you know if you whoops there it is if you've got a brooch with a missing stone the only thing that's going to make it look right is to replace the stone and this looks like a <clears throat> stamen from a flower so for now I'll just I'll throw it in there as well Okay, I just wanted to show you a few other things before we get down to business. Oh, this one can be counted as done. Uh, it's got, it's a key and it's got two rings on it, so that maybe is overkill. Anyway, we'll put it there. Then I encountered a bunch of clip-on earrings. Now, because these are quite um, angled, I'm not sure 
what, if anything, I can do with this, unless I, it just gets clipped onto a journal tie or something. So for now, I'm going to defer things like that and put them aside. I also have, I also found some rings. Now, I do have a jeweler's loop, so I have determined that these are not, um, they're not gold. So, um, so far I haven't done anything with them, but again, maybe this is something that gets slipped on to a, uh, a tie or, or, I don't know. Anyway, so that is going in the <clears throat> deal with later pile. This, I think, might have, was a fashion ring that belonged to my daughter and clearly came apart. So I'm thinking I could, if I could repair it with E6000 and it'll be as good as new. So I'll put that there. I found a bunch of, oh, well, okay, let's talk lapel pins. I found a bunch of uh, lapel pins, you know, that have this kind of uh, a thing at the back. So, I mean, I guess I think that would be too bulky. So what I'm going to attempt to do is break off the post because, you know, sentiments like LOL and boom and uh, an A, you know, those they're going to get used more than if they just stay as they are. So we'll leave that there. I then have um, a bunch of these kinds of earrings. And the, okay, with this plastic post, this was obviously something that I modified, you know, 25 years ago um, so that I could wear it. But what do you do with this? Maybe this is one of those, you know, these are things maybe that need to be, well, this one is flat. I guess it could be used, you know, as a, as part of a collage or something, you know, like a, I don't know. That one probably has some promise. I don't think these do, so I'm going to put them off to the side to get rid of. Um, obviously, I, this sort of graphic, almost tribal art must have been a rage at one point. They're really lightweight. <clears throat> Looks, They're probably painted wood. I obviously peeled the backing off. Um, so these will go with my flat stuff. <laughs> fused glass that is big so obviously something like that needs to go on a topper as a topper so I with the topper stuff um here are a bunch of brooches that I came across I'll tell you which ones were actually mine and wore uh, worn back in the day um but you can see that uh stone is missing and there's one missing there so I don't know that's a little harder to deal with oh there are these gigantic earrings so I see I broke the back off one of them first of all I broke the post off then I replaced it with that back in the day but uh, I guess this has a possibility so I'll put it there uh, oh this is another earring Oh, and how about these? <laughs> I have quite a bit of this beaded type stuff, both in necklaces and, I guess in this case, in earrings. These were the, the rubber backs that went with those rubber posts. Uh, maybe this is one of those because it's quite bulky. I guess it could be glued... I'll put it with toppers for now. And if they don't get used, then they need to go, um, they need to be taken apart. Um, same sort of scenario here. Earrings that are probably of questionable value to me at this point. Look at some of these brooches. And I have to say that this bike is mine. Uh, this girl was mine, or is mine, that was mine, like, honest to God, you'd, th you'd think I was 100 years old, isn't that kind of, I mean, with, I mean, brooches did have their day, and in fact, it was even common to pile a whole bunch on, 
this flat thing is going with the flat stuff. The, I wonder if that stone, I'm going to put that there. That was mine also. Um, this is some sort of an enamel piece. Something is missing from the center. There is that little thing there. Oh, you know what? That might have been a clasp. So this, uh, I'll add to the to the box that needs some work. Um, I think this was probably mine because of the colors. So these brooches, um, this was not mine, but hey, we love butterflies. So all those, oh, this, I think this was mine, obviously thrifted. It seems to me I used to wear this in my navy winter coat. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, this, I don't know where it came from. I mean, it's awfully tall, but maybe that's um, a, a topper type. So let's put these brooches. Oh, let me show you how this drawer <laughs> is evolving. I probably have to split it up. A petty point brooch that I did. Uh, well, you just saw that. This, I mean, I used to lay... Do you remember when these came out with porcelain heads and porcelain feet and fabric bodies? How about that rock? Um, a cat looking at that fish. You know, some of these are I could <laughs> easily part with because... Ah, because... Ow! Oh, because they uh, are just a wee bit too kitschy. Just closing this up to avoid bloodshed. Look at the size of this. This, I don't know, a couple maple leaves, which are gorgeous, and of course are a Canadian symbol. Now, oh, look at this lady. There's probably a place for her in my celebration of women journals. I should take her out of here. Um, okay, and way more stuff here that just needs um, a hook or something attached to it. So we may do a few of those, but I do want to um, show you the... Um, Oh, this is another earring. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And look, you could get these clip on these adaptation kits or whatever. You put a little piece of something there so it wouldn't touch your ear, your skin. And then you slip this thing over this part and that didn't touch your skin. And then you went, you went out in public wearing this. So, um... Again, if I took this apart, what then? I don't know. That's one of those mysteries. This is an expansion type bracelet that is obviously broken. Now, I could cut all those three elastics and then I'd have all these little bits of thing, um, you know, bling. And that might be a good idea because then it should be, then it would rightfully, there's some missing here, it would rightfully be in the bling drawer, bling place. So I'll do that. Oh, here's another very petite <laughs> brooch. Another brooch. This was mine. Um, okay. Oh, here's another one. That's cute. And who doesn't love keys? This... My goodness, this was a Sarah Coventry. Does anyone remember that? Sarah Coventry set that could be a pendant, could be a brooch. It had a beautiful, like opal-like stone here. Who knows when that, when and when it fell out and where it, I mean, obviously, I never found it, otherwise I would have fixed it. And I had matching, oh, and there's a stone missing there too. I had um, uh, drop earrings to match too. So sentimental, I guess, reasons for hanging on to that. So I'll put it with the hoarded stuff. 
Oh, I also came across, whoops, I can't pick it up, uh, a number of these coppery colored letters. So I just added them to this bag of different fonts. And I mean, they're all, well, these are, those have little hangy things. Um, I'll deal with this later. I hope that you saw the video <clears throat> where I was suggesting that you, um, suggesting that you start saving in whatever format, whether it's chipboard or a metal piece or what else could there be? Um, you know, like a sew on patch or something like that, that you begin saving your monogram because I think we all have a soft spot. Um, we've all accepted by now our names and have grown to like them, hopefully. And at some point, I'm going to do a video with that. So I'll just add it to my, my collection of H's. Here's another H. This is just a punch out. Um, okay. This, these things that have, see, things like this, I remember having a heck of a time opening these up because they're, they're strong, they're substantial. So I'm throwing them away because I don't need, to, life's too short to be fighting that much with anything. So I'm adding these to the things that just need a little bulb pin or something. Now this, I wanted to get, <clears throat> okay, there's a little teeny weeny H hanging here. So I thought, oh, I'll just take this apart here and then I'll be able to slide those two, <clears throat> excuse me, those two things up. Oh, here's another bit of this. Um, oh, where did I put the rest of this? Huh. This is maybe one of the oldest things. I seem to have lost it. Um, there's another earring. Screw back yet. Um, two earrings and a bit of a necklace. Well, I guess you'll have to take my word for it. Maybe I'll put it in the box. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking that these could be separated into different, their own sections. They're just joined together with a jump ring. And because they're relatively flat, uh, or I could leave the jump ring on some of them and keep some of them flat, they would then become... Um, they become usable. Now I found, oh, here's another gigantic pendant type thing. Uh, I think I was putting those with brooches, to be honest. Someone may have given me this skeleton key type thing. Here's a heart. It's got the, the little ring attached. And then it seems to me that I did this on camera showing how I salvaged a number of these pieces off this, off a necklace. And they're um, somewhere. There's more of it. But anyway, these things are ready to go as they are. So I'm putting, I'll put them back here. Now, this is rather big, but it is kind of beautiful. So I'll probably leave this intact, just knowing that, boy, that's open quite a bit. So let me just see if I can close this up so that little ring doesn't get lost. Um... So maybe let's add those things to that. Now, the other thing I have in here are some bulb pins 
And I don't think that this, it was my intention. Well, I guess they're kind of cute. It could, I could use them like this. These were obviously beads that I took off something because there are many of them here. Um, so those, we'll call those done. And then on this bulb pin, I've just put all these little mini coins. I think that was just to keep them all together, which is another good uh, tip for organizing, you know. Like if you're not ready to use something, then at least keep them all together by grouping them in such a way. So a whole bunch of green ones, a whole bunch of red ones. This uh, obviously needs a stone, so... Maybe I'll put that with that other one. Maybe we'll find a stone before the the day is over and we'll be able to uh, repair that. Oh, I, I can't remember where I got this, but I like the look of it. Oh, there are a few stones. Oh, you know what? I could maybe harvest some stones out of here. This is way too heavy for me to cut through. But... At this point, I still like it. I could probably pry out some of those stones for repair. So it just it's just kicking around on my desk. I obviously took apart something like this. Now the bad part, oh look, another one just, are they just falling out as I'm talking? <laughs> um, the bad part here is that this first part was done on a head pin. So there's no way to attach it unless, let me point, unless a person put, well, let's find a bulb pin and I'll show you. I just realized that now. If I put the bulb pin through there, now that kind of sticks out like a, like a little arm, but it does solve the problem of how to attach it. So I, okay, here I've got some links, obviously, from whatever it was, I guess the chain it was attached to. Now this looks substantial too, so I really, sh oh, you know what? It's not even attached. It just got tangled up here. That fell into the... I'll have to fight with that later. Oh, or maybe it was like that. And I just didn't take the time yet to get these couple of links off. Mind you, if I knew it was secure enough, I could just, but it kind of makes it hang crooked. So I don't know. Anyway, I won't, you get the idea of what's happening here. So I'll continue to do that on my own time. Oh, and look at this. Whoops, look at this brooch. I don't think I ever wore it, but did that stop me from buying it? No, it didn't. So obviously I could take off these little guys, tea, milk, I guess the cup and the spoon. Uh, mind you, then I'd have those little holes. There. I don't know. I'll just add it to my brooches for now. From, uh, for now. This will go with the brooches as well. Okay, so I think we said we're counting those as done. Now this, I need to take that clasp off. So let's finally pull out some tools and do that. Now, you, I try to you do this with, it's like surgery. Let's do it laparoscopically so we don't have a large scar to deal with. So I try to do the minimum. If, if I can just... Oh, well, that came off. Okay, so I did open it. I didn't even realize I opened it. Okay, so just enough to remove the part you don't want. Close it back up. So this could be part of... Uh, something that can go in the garbage uh we're gonna call that one done as well now i have this a little bit of a challenge here because <sighs> blow some of these little little bit of dust away okay so i mean that's kind of cute i guess 
especially on this side with the little the little diamond chips. Let's see if I can feed this thing through that link or is it too small? Oh, it worked. Woohoo. Okay, maybe we'll leave that open and add more to it. So that obviously works, but that's far too long. So what I can do, but is that going to look dumb? <sighs> These things that are three-sided are a bit of a challenge. Okay, let me just open the, this link up. Now, unfortunately, sometimes, oh, got it. Sometimes it's not that easy to see, and I'm sure it's not even harder for you to see at home, but that should come off now. I don't want to open it too much because then I have to close it. Oh, I'm fooling myself. I never even opened it. wonder if it would be easier to break that thing off. Then I'd have a little... No, I better stick with my original plan. Okay, so now, because this is a decent-sized ring here, if I had something ready to go, I could just... Do I have something ready to go? Not within reach, so we'll just for the heck... Oh, sorry. We don't really want to lose that if possible. Like that. Okay, but I've determined that this does slide onto here, so we can... Well, forget about that. And sometimes you have to pick your battles, you know, because this is kind of slow, painstaking work, so... Oops. Yeah, so this one still has a ring at the bottom, so something could be attached to that. Uh, now, this piece has that little awkward thing at the bottom. It has a ring at the top. Okay, so let's just, for the sake of moving on. Uh, whoopsie. Add this to this. Um, bulb pin. Is that it? Yes. And um, know that before this one can be used, it's going to have one, two, three things added on. Oh, look how that is bent. Can you see how that's bent? Why don't I just break it off and solve my problem? Will my little guys do it? Of course, it's just pot metal or something. Something very flimsy and cheap. Probably uh, plastic that's just been coated. Now, that is a bit rough there, so I don't know if... Here's a little amory board. would take down the burrs since it's just plastic. Well, that's better. Let's do this side as well. Not totally good, but getting there. Okay. So now what have we got? Well, we still have a ring there, which means it's something fancy, very fancy, could be added on. So I'm going to leave this one and call it done. Or maybe we'll put it here in case we come across something very fancy. And maybe I'll just shove this off to the side because we may need it. Um... I'm not going to waste the time now, but know that I will salvage this lobster closure and that ring and throw this piece away. So I'll put that over there. 
Okay, but I wanted to, oh, see, this is not very attractive, I don't think. But just because we're here, let's take this shepherd's hook thing off. Mind you, I've never tried, I don't think that, no, let's just take it off. I don't need to reinvent the wheel here. Maybe for now I'll hang on to it, but I, I honestly don't think I could be bothered with this. Throw it away. So I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is something or not, it, This probably, I'm going to throw it in with the beads, probably needs to be taken apart, is my theory on that one. Okay, let us, what was I going to do here? Oh, I was going to open this link. She said optimistically. That's quite small, so maybe, well, okay, I'll give it one more shot. If I can't see to get it, then I'll go to the next one, and then at least it's something that I can see. I thought I had it. Okay, quickly close it before it falls off. Or let her fall off and give up. Now, because this has an H, I'll add it to my H stuff. Okay. But now that that's gone, well, now that that's gone, we should be able to get these two guys off. And I will add the chain to where I've got chains. So now love and the little heart are essentially just little charms. So I'm going to put them in here because you don't need to watch me do um, you don't need to watch me put bulb pins on that's I mean you've seen it once you've seen it a million times. Okay so I'm going to just try to break this off. And sometimes you just need to reef on it a bit. Oh, this may be better quality stuff. Whoa. Okay, that cut through the little post, but now we've got this little thing here that is sharp. Now I suppose that may be okay because this would be have to be glued down to something anyway so that would protect anyone from getting hurt so i'm going to put it with the flat stuff let's do lol it's all in the wrist people it's all in the wrist i don't know what boom was all about but Boom, it's done. And likewise with the A. Don't want to pinch myself and get a blood blister. Oh, well, that didn't fly too far. But it is sticking out, so... Anyway, okay. I threw all those in with the flat stuff. I would say... Oh, maybe I'll keep these for the time being. Let me just pick up this paper and shake some of the debris off. And, and here are the little... Okay. So let's look now at some of the stuff in this cigar box because remember I was sorting things that needed work. 
And this, you know, I'm sure there are going to be some things that, whoa, that, um, you know, I can't uh, make happen. So we said that, oh, this has a hangy thing at that end. Should I? Oh, look at that. It was just a. Let's see what it looks like with a bulb pin. Right after I told you I wouldn't be making you watch bulb pins. And again, these bulb pins are maybe just place keepers for now. Maybe it makes, whoops, maybe it makes more sense in a particular project to put it on a big safety pin or something. Now this one still needs a stone added to it. Um, but that wouldn't be that hard. Can just look through one's bling. And so let's call that one done. <laughs> if you watched the last video, you know that I actually wore these. So let's see if we can. <laughs> well, that was easy. Now there is this residue here, but again, is that going to matter? This could very well be. Well, probably wasn't E6000, but. And again, not that critical to get this off because it would just be glued down again. So we will say that that is done. And you just wait and see. Now that I've removed this, these things are going to, oh, maybe it was just hot glue. Uh, these things are going to come back into style. Just you wait and see. Let's see if I can get this biggest glob off here. So, um, in the comments, now again, presumably you would have commented on that first video. Um, but if you didn't, tell me if you started. Um, This could, you know, that's not very... Okay, don't ever do this at home where you're putting something towards your own skin. Again, I... Oh, what's that? Did I break a petal off something? Oh, right there. I won't tell if you won't. I will try to clean that up a bit more, so that'll go off to the side here. Um, okay, this is almost too e This Well, I got this in a recent thrift haul, although it was a brand, <laughs> a brand new item. Uh, if you saw that video, you know that I intended to salvage these little frames. I will put this with, I do have a place where I keep mini frames, but I would also probably uh, put it with where I've got headers, ideas for headers, not, not headers, toppers. So that's going with there and with that. This is all beads. We'll just scoop, well, let's just pick this up. It'll be quicker. Dump it in with the beads. If I can get there and back without spilling. Success. Okay, uh, I told you I was going to take, oh, I'm so sorry. I told you I was going to take these apart. Well, that's just elastic, so. You know that, again, that's too simple. I'll do that on my own time. But that's just, the, okay. So this is, what the heck is that? That's some kind of wire. So naturally I'd use wire cutters and not a rec uh, scissors. This is elastic. Um, Cord, so I will use scissors on that. Okay, we had this. 
I like the feel of these. Now, this was going to be a bit more, probably, you know, we need a little more thinking going on here. Oops. Okay. So, in essence, this is what we have. Now, it's got a ring there. Oh, that's... Now, if I take that off, let me see. That ring seems to be part of that part, and that seems to be part of that part. So, <sighs> well, let's start at the top. Open up this um, ring. See where it's connected. If I can, well, let me just start working on it. Maybe it'll become clear. <sighs> or not. Is this one easier to see? Oh, I think I saw it. Nope. Okay, what happens if I cut this? If I open up this biggest one? Again, it doesn't help. And it's not, it's not late. And it is a sunshiny day, so I don't know. Oh, maybe that's it. And it's so hard to do this with, with two pliers, because there's hardly room. Okay, oh, there it is. See, I'm, ah, okay, there's the lobster. Let's get this guy off, out of there. That will release all these Okay, now we have a better idea of what's what. So maybe I should do the same at this other end. And then we'll just have strands. So that is this ring here. And again, I have to somehow see where the connection is. Like I'm strong, very, very, very strong, but even I can't break open a ring where there is no opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it must be hidden under those guys. Oh, I think I see a glimmer of daylight. Come on. Okay. So, we have that. We have that. We have that. We have this. Okay, I'm putting this small piece. Uh, okay, that has an end on it. You know, something like this. Okay, let's get rid of this small bag. Put it with the chains. Now, I'm just guessing because, of course, I've never done it. But this is quite long. Oopsie, that's nine inches. Couldn't this, okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a bulb pin on here just to hold it. Could this not be the start of a dangle, uh, a book spine dangle? You know, so what if it's looped at the bottom? 
probably though for a tall skinny since it is um, more than, you know, it's nine inches. And what have we got here on this black chain? Same thing. Okay, well, let's hook those two together. Let's put this all together and see if we have the makings of something. And of course, uh, we would also be adding fibers to the mix. And again, you know, I, I think it's one of those deals where I never tried to do one because it seemed like, oh, I don't have the recipe. I don't know what the formula is. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that be just the cat's meow if we could do... Oh, this is ball chain. Anyway, if we could just reattach all of this to a ball pin then end up with a spine ankle without having to do much more. Okay, I'll just, we'll hang on to that for the time being and see what sense we can make of this. Are these the same length? No, so let's play with the shorter one. I do like the feel of this. Okay, if I... But I said I can't open that. Don't see an opening there. And if I open that, those guys will fall off. Well, only temporarily. Because that would be, I guess, um, what do they call that? Not a head pin, but a, some kind of pin. So I will quickly... Uh, close that up so those beads don't fall off. Not exactly a circle that I've done there. But I'm going to leave it for the time being because it, it would have to be worked worked with again to add something to the to that ring. So I don't want to play around with it so much that it breaks, but okay, now we have this attached. <laughs> Has anyone ever made a spined angle and then had to make a particular journal just to make it? Um, hey, that's probably too small. I think sometimes people attach things to an eyelet or whatever with a lobster type thing. Okay, so this is the black one. That's longer, so it doesn't really matter. Well, let's see what would happen if I didn't take it apart. This is really getting pretty opulent. That's kind of cool, I think. And then let's see what's here. Now we we wouldn't, I wouldn't want all the thickest, bulkiest stuff to all be clustered there. And then this stuff looks kind of wispy and uh, lame. <laughs> so let's leave two sections together. Okay, that would be too long. That would be about right. So I'm going to do the same. You, know, you probably can't see because of the background being busy. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to open this little circle up here. If I can find which is the... Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, maybe I can slide it off without doing much more. Come on, baby, work with me, work with me. Oh, okay, that's what I wanted. So again, we just close that up. We'll hook this on. 
And because there is that nice ring at the bottom, or that little loop there, uh, something very special could be added on. So we're not going to put this too far away because we might even find something. So that's the one we just did, this longest one. Let's get this stuff out of the way and then you'll be able to see. Now maybe I don't care for the way this is, so... Let's open this up and just let that one, oh, a bead could be, at, or something could be added there, and something could be added here, and then I don't have that. You know, sometimes you can s cut, uh, uh, save steps or whatever, but then if you don't like the result, I think you have to be prepared to just keep at it till you do get a result you like because you know what what is the point of creating stuff you're not happy with geez I bent that oh come on should come off now. Quickly, quickly, Bickley, close this up. Do I have, maybe this would be better for the, for a job like this. A uh, little skinnier and on it, a little further reach than a lot further reach. Okay, let's do this last thing, then I'll show it to you one last time. Um, well, we have no choice but take it off. I'll do it this side. And again, you know, I... I think because I don't edit and fast forward and splice stuff together, you get a very real um, look at how much time this stuff actually takes. So I either hope that you are, well, mesmerized and on the edge of your seat Think, oh my goodness, what's she going to do next? And oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Or you are crafting along with me because... Where's our bulb pin? Um, because you could be getting a lot done. And I know that there are some of you that do spend the entire time with me. Thank you very much. And... Um, so at least, you know, then you'd be getting something done as well. So I think that's pretty cool. And then when you try to envision one, two, three, four. Well, that was just a loop. Five, six. These are, okay, just fold back. If you can uh, consider six beads of some sort added. Now, if this was just on a black and white journal, that would be cool in itself. If it was a black and white with another color, like a turquoise or something, that would be cool as well. But anyway, I'm happy with how that turned out. So we'll put it over there and we'll tackle something else. Whoops, this is obviously a giant sized earring. Oh, there are two of them. So again, same sort of scenario. I would just take the shepherd's hook off. I um, wonder if I could, well, I guess I have to use this. 
so I'll, I'll just do this one and then I won't make you watch any more of this kind of stuff. And again, you know, I haven't I haven't used a single one of these things yet. But just the fact that I'm dealing with this sorting in um, into a device into that uh, jewelry box into a storage solution already has me excited because I'm number one, I'm well, several things. I'm realizing how much of this I have how some of it really isn't, it's certainly not precious in any way. Um, so, like, what am I hanging on to it for? And the fact that it's ready to go. Okay, so you see, let's work on this little ancient one. So a ring, a ring, a ring, a ring. Well, let's take these off first because we know that that center piece is um, going to be a standalone. Now, I dare not. Oh, yeah, fragile. Look, a petal just came off. So now this needs to be glued back on. I didn't want a reef on that. So let's see if, well, let's get the other side off, hopefully without any damage. So we have that that can be glued on. So I'll put this, oh, looks like other petals have broken off over time. Anyway, I will put this in with the flat stuff. Let's do, and there should be another earring in here somewhere. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, and, e and this even has another piece broken off. So, you know, it's kind of good that I'm not hanging on to this anymore, but actually dealing with it. Now that pearl... So, look at, there is this thing here. I wonder if I can cut this with my heavier wire cutters. I'm going to try to do it as close, okay, right there, as close to that little ring as possible. Without wrecking it. little jagged oh. again not even sure that's real metal maybe my smaller ones can get in a little closer okay so that could have something that could be attached to something. This is garbage. Uh, let's do the same thing here. is so thin. <laughs> Oops, the pearl just popped off. Well, let me close this little thing. Now it looks so... Do you see how thin that is? And I would guess, although I have nothing other than a guess, that this might have been, what, 30s or 40s type jewelry? Okay, what did I use? Did I use the, maybe I could try with the small ones this time. Mm, 
not enough oomph. Oh, for heaven's sake. What is this made of? How can it bend like that without breaking? Okay, so we have the little ring. We've got that little thing that needs to be removed if possible. Now this and this can be glued back together. So I'll leave that there. So we have this. We have these. I put the other flat. Okay, so we'll, broken or not, it will go with the flat stuff. This need. oh, this needs repair also. And these guys need to be separated. Um... I could leave that ring on. Okay, look at this. I'm going to leave this ring on so this guy has a ring, and then I'm going to take it off that side so this guy has a ring. And we save a nanosecond, yay! Can't see where the connection is. And it's it's just plastic. I mean, those flowers are just plastic, so. Uh, there we go. Now, which side did I see? Oh, wrong one. Come on. So you have to. Oh. <laughs> so much for trying to save time. Um, and if you want your jewelry to cooperate, you have to provide it with words of encouragement. Okay, dog. Oh, look at that. I can bend it just with my own. But it's not a circle anymore. I've kind of distorted that. Okay, close this up. Oh no, that one's good. Uh, do, oh, there's only one ring on this side. That guy probably belongs to one of them. Let's take this apart. I mean, oh no, there is a ring there. Uh oh, that just broke. So. It is pretty brittle stuff. I hope I didn't go to all this trouble only to have this shatter in one's hands. Okay. So that's what we ended up with from this. And another one of those to repair. Um, this goes in there. Okay. Now this... Oh, I better check the time. Oh dear, we're over an hour again. This is a ladybug. Now this one side doesn't want to stay open. So what I'm going to do with this is take it apart for um, watch guts. Maybe I'll just try that. Now I think by now you've seen me, you've heard my, where's my little screwdriver? You've heard me talk you through my thought process. You've seen me try to save some time. 
doesn't always work. So I'm just going to take the... Oh, well, we'll see what we get. So hopefully now you feel ready. Whoops. Hopefully now you feel ready to do some of your own. That doesn't have a, th a thing there. This may be easy, uh, easier to say than to do. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, so there was a little springy thing there. Now this has to open at some point. I might need my little teeny tiny screwdriver set that's thinner than this to get in there. Because I like the little gears and stuff that you have inside watches. Uh, yeah, so I think that's probably not going to happen right now. Put this off to the side. I will play with that on my own. Do I have, is there anything else I want to show you? Oh, I think I showed you this. So I will take that apart. Uh, this you maybe didn't see. I will. Now these are, oh, they're held in place by those two knots. So I think what I'll do, I'll open this ring. And... Just get it off the threads. So now this big um, disc here, this sort of mother shell-like thing, can go with the big topper stuff. I Oh, see, it's got one of those doohickeys on it. But I should be able to maybe... This looks and feels pretty flimsy. Can't see the opening, though. Oh, there it is. I thought I could do it just with fingers. Yes. Just going to squeeze those back together. So there's that. And we'll do the same on this side. Get that lobster and um, little piece of chain off. So because this already has had the work done to it, and because it's knotted here, let's just pretend. Let's get another bulb pin to hold this together as though it were a spine dangle. And because it's fine cord and because it's knotted and those beads are not going to go anywhere oh I didn't get oh it opened up or maybe I didn't close it properly okay so that's what we have but I can just cut it let's stretch it out to its limit because I don't want them all the same length. So if I cut, maybe I shouldn't use my favorite little scissors. Let's cut this pretty close. So we have that. Oh, these are all gonna be pretty darn close in length. Anyway, I'm going to cut each of them pretty close to the bottom knot and see what we end up with. Okay. 
not as much variety as I would have hoped, but it's not exactly, uh, you know, even either. So that helps. And then if a few other things get added to it, <coughs> then, um, you know, that would be good too. That will make a difference. So let's add this over here. Now this was another one of those deals. It's got this giant thing here, but these beads don't come off because even that ring there is too big. So let's, again, I, I looked at the clock, but I just kept on talking, just kept on working because I'm committed to doing this and I'm thinking, oh, this is heavier stuff. I'm thinking maybe you are as well. Or I guess I could leave that on. Maybe I'm going to leave that on. Maybe having a lobster... Tell me in the comments, is having a lobster thing on there a good thing? I guess that could get hooked into an eyelet. Maybe I'm, I'm going to be sorry I was taking these things off. Okay. So we, we'll add that to the beads. We now have, oh no, this way. We're going this way. I now have this and all its stones are intact. So that could go with the toppers. And let's slide this guy, whoops, this guy off, add it to the beads. And, uh, Kind of a cute little thing there. Okay, what would happen? I don't think I can cut this. I would be afraid to cut this. That's just for the heck of it. And then I'm going to turn the camera off. Let's just for the heck of it see what happens if we loop this. And this, just here at this point, leave that little dangly chain. So that's already looking like more. Okay, let me close this box because otherwise I just, I don't know when to quit. That's the reality here. Um, okay, I'm going to keep working. Maybe turn on YouTube and watch some videos. Maybe watch Netflix, maybe have a bite to eat, my th and my throat sounds hoarse. So I'm going to stop there for now. Um, let's bring in this guy too, so you have this to look at. I didn't think we were making spine dangles today. I thought we were just taking stuff apart, but hey... If you've got all the pieces in your hands, might as well throw it onto a bulb pin to hold it all together. Could add some of those, maybe. Um, anyway, let me think now. Do we need another video? Do we need another video? Is there anything in here that hasn't you haven't already seen? Okay, this is just another expansion bracelet. Look at these things, aren't they beautiful? Okay, I can easily do that. Uh, this is another one of those multi-strand things. Look at all that interesting chain. Maybe that will turn into a dangle. <laughs> We've got this monstrosity. Uh, this is more of that box chain. Okay, so I'll work on those. Now this is... Did I try breaking the... Um, maybe I'll do that and we won't have to... Because uh, there are a few clip earrings here. Let's see if I can just... Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, 
I hope I didn't ban that. Mm, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, see this this top this decorative part is starting to bend. That makes it a point of weakness. So let's see if I cut it off right there. Oh, you know what? I bet you I'm going to break this thing. Oh. Okay, that's garbage. This was... Oh, yeah. See, it's... But this is cute by itself. See, that was just glue that was kind of holding that together. I don't know if I got it all off. Maybe not. But this is, I mean, this could have, she reaches for her bulb pin. There are enough spaces here. Maybe this one's closest to the top. Like that could be on, you know, attached to a tab or something. Stones are intact. I just would have to. <clears throat> I guess I'm thinking that if I show you a couple whoops did I just shake everything um let's see if I can get that bit of glue off there it's kind of rubbery and springy Isn't that cute? Okay, so that worked. This was heavy duty. And I think I tried to wear it. It had a cord on it. But look at that. That thing, you know, where's the workmanship, people? That thing was not centered. So it always was cockeyed. Now, I doubt this might be a job for the grinder. That might be have to be farmed out to hubby. I'll put that aside. Then if that thing was gone, it would work better. Uh, just more chains to take apart. Oh, another little H to add to my monogram collection once I get its back off. Oh, there's this. This is like little, this is plasticky. Whoops, there's an earring caught in there. So, you know what I'm going to say about this. This is going to become a spine dangle. Probably as it is for my purple journal or one of my purple journals. Okay, I have a plan. I uh, think I'm going to stop there, guys, because, again, I know you didn't bring pajamas, so. <clears throat> and I think my throat needs a little TLC. So I'm going to continue with this because I'm on a roll, and I hope that you have started blowing up um, the, the uh, jewelry that you have thrifted or some stuff in your own jewelry box that you have not been wearing and putting it to, you know, putting it to use with, um, in your journal projects. Anyway, I, uh, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for hanging in as long as you did. I know that sometimes these long videos are, um, you know, a bit much. Uh, but I also know from some of your comments that sometimes you just you just love hanging out with me because um, usually the conversation is pretty good. 
or there's a giggle, or you're so caught up in doing what you're own doing that I'm just, I'm just white noise in the room. So anyway, I appreciate it all. <clears throat> okay, I need, I need, I need a lozenge. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.